Hey y'all, welcome to week one of the KonMari Method Organizing Challenge. I am so excited to be here with you and I am so ready to dive in and get our homes organized. If you have no idea what this challenge is, I want you to go back to my first video in this series. I'll link it below. It will list everything that you need to know about why we're doing it, what the KonMari Method is, and why it just might change your life. This week we're diving into organizing our clothing. It feels so good to have an organized closet and you will not believe how ridiculous my closet was before we started this process. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I went through organizing everything in my closet, how much I got rid of, and how I completely transformed my dresser drawers just by folding things a little bit differently. So here's how I organized my clothing using the KonMari method. All right, please excuse the terrible lighting, but here is my disaster of a closet. So these are my clothes and these are my clothes. We've got both of our shoes down there and then just a mess because we're currently redoing our bathroom. These are my husband's clothes, so I will not touch them. And then up in the top, we've got boxes of stuff we don't use as often. So we've got a lot of work to do. Okay, so everything from my closet has been removed and it's all out of the bed now. The reason that Marie Kondo says that you should get everything out in one spot is because this is really the only way to truly see how much stuff you have. I could look at my closet and know that it was full, but until it's all laying out here, it's really hard to take in exactly how much clothing you truly have. Now I'll also note, these are just my tops, my jackets, and my dresses. Things like pants, shorts, skirts, those are all in drawers and we're gonna deal with those separately. So it's all here, taking it in, and it's time to decide what brings me joy and what doesn't bring me joy. So this part of the process is the part that can get a little tricky, but I like to streamline it a little bit by making three stacks. The first stack, things I wear all the time and I know I wanna keep. The second stack, things I never wear and I know I don't wanna keep. The third stack is for those things in the middle that I'm not quite sure about. After I finish sorting through everything, I will try on that middle stack and I'll decide whether or not to keep it once I've seen it on my body. Got it? Let's do it. the stack of things that I'm keeping is the largest. It's a little disappointing because I had hoped to get rid of more, but it's a great thing that I have so many clothes that I love so much. So now I'm going to take a quick break, try the rest on, and then we'll see how my stacks are looking after I've tried on. Okay, I've gone through all of my shirts, tried on what I needed to try on, and everything is sorted out. So in the end, let me show you what I'm getting rid of. I've got one full garbage bag of just tops that I'm getting rid of. This stack and this stack is what I'm keeping. So we're gonna put it back in the closet and move on to dresses now. When it's time to put things back in the closet, Marie Kondo suggests that you should put your clothing in uh, lightest to darkest in your closet. I don't know that I'm quite organized enough to keep my clothing organized by color, but I do like to organize my clothing by type. So I'll put all the tank tops together. I'll put all the casual shirts together. I'll put all the dressy shirts together. Thinner sweaters and then thicker sweaters. When I keep my closet organized like that, it not only looks better, but it's a lot easier to find what I'm looking for. All right, I've gone through and put away all of the dresses I'm keeping. This is a stack I'm getting rid of. So we're starting on garbage bag number two. Now all of my hanging clothes have been organized put back away, but you saw my closet. It still needs a little bit of work. So we're gonna pull out everything else that's in my closet, things like accessories, paint clothes, other things like that. We're gonna go through that, purge it down. I've reached a stopping point for day one and this is what my closet is looking like. Not perfect, but I think it's significantly better. I still need to do all of this section up here, which we'll tackle tomorrow. Today the goal is to finish cleaning out my closet and then tackle all of the drawers. I'm hoping that by the end of the day I will have finished cleaning out all of my clothes. So fun little tidbit, this morning while my husband was getting ready for work, 
he told me that he plans on participating in this challenge with me. I'll admit I was completely shocked. This is not his kind of thing, but I think he's already seeing the benefits of reducing and decluttering our home. So hopefully throughout this process, I'll be able to show you some of the things that he's getting rid of too. So step one today is to finish cleaning out the closet. Step two is gonna to be to go through the drawers. While we're going through the drawers, I'm also gonna show you how Marie Kondo suggests that you fold clothing. If anything about this method is life-changing, the folding is it. The first thing I did is clear the top of my closet out of everything that was left up here. Threw it all on the ground. Now it's time to sort through it. All right, the closet is done. I have finished organizing all of my things in the closet. My husband still needs to take a look at his things, but for now, we're calling it complete. It's time to move on to the dresser drawers. In here, this half is my husband's, this half is mine. I store things like t-shirts, pants, shorts, skirts, and workout clothes in here. So we're gonna go through it one by one, figure out what we wanna keep and what we don't. Then I'm gonna show you the amazing method to folding that's going to transform your drawers. Here's a look at my t-shirt closet before. As you can see, I've done an okay job of doing some good folding over here, but I don't always keep up with it. On this side, we keep our old Nintendo 64 because my son and I like to play it sometimes together. This is the best place to stash it. Okay, so you may have noticed I actually ended up cleaning this drawer out, moving its contents down here. That freed up this drawer for things like my Nintendo 64 and some other gaming components that we keep in here. Okay, we've officially reached the end of day two. I finished going through all of my things, and y'all, I managed to clear out not one, but two complete drawers. So what's the total tally? For me alone, I've got three complete garbage bags ready to take to Goodwill. I've also got one more garbage bag full of things that are too worn, too stained, or just not appropriate to take to Goodwill. It's the end of week one, and I wanted to share a few thoughts I have about the process so far. The first thing is, Corey did not get around to cleaning out his clothes this week. He works out of the home full time, so it's a little harder for him to find the time to do these sorts of things. He's still all in, he still wants to participate, he just hasn't gotten around to it yet. One thing that I really noticed this week that I don't remember noticing the last time I went through this process is how hard it is to keep your house clean when you're decluttering it. I thought that since I was just going through one category at a time, it'd be pretty easy to deal with that category while keeping the rest of the house clean. The only problem is, I keep running into things around the house that I don't want to clean up because I know I'm getting ready to get rid of it. I'm interested to see how much easier it is to keep my house clean once I'm actually done with all of this. I'm only a few days into having a more organized closet and dresser, but I'm already noticing a huge difference in the way that I keep my clothes organized. I'm so much quicker to fold things up, put them away, and there is nothing I love more than opening that drawer and seeing all of the freshly folded clothes. Next week, we've got a pretty controversial topic, books. Stay tuned for that next Wednesday. If you don't want to miss a video in this series, be sure to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to like and comment to let us know what you think. Good luck organizing your clothes. Be sure to let us know how it goes.